When I was first diagnosed, I believed that this was the beginning of the end for me. I was diagnosed in December of 2009. The type of breast cancer that I have is inflammatory breast cancer. It's a cancer that's not known well by many. It is a breast cancer that does not have a lump. Mammoglobin A was discovered at Washington University School of Medicine um, by Tim Fleming, one of our co-investigators. We started this project and the reason we got involved in breast cancer is the senior postdoc in my lab at the time, Mark Watson, both his mother and my mother had breast cancer, so it was a, a very personal uh, area of work that we wanted to look for new discoveries and, and pursued that. So within a, a year, we had come up with a new breast cancer marker, mammoglobin, that also had the potential of being a good therapeutic as far as an immune system modulator. So uh, it, it became very personal that way in the initial part of, of the work. And then when you get to meet patients that are getting the vaccine that maybe can help a family that way, it, it's really special and, and meaningful. So it could be used as a universal vaccine, meaning that almost all women could benefit from this vaccine for prevention or for, to prevent recurrence. With um, almost no um, side effects, um, patients can really get a tremendous benefit from cancer vaccine therapy. And then the second um, promising thing is that all patients who've been treated to date have had um, no progression of their disease. The gateway for cancer research was, you know, inspirational for us um, in making our cancer vaccine program a reality. So we're very grateful for um, their support. My story has been a good one, and everything currently shows that I'm cancer-free. And I'm grateful to be cancer-free today and hoping for many more years of cancer-free. Since my participation in the study, I've been able to continue on with my life. I have two small children. Those children were one and three when I was diagnosed. And I'm grateful to say that they're now three and five. And they still have a mother here for them. My cancer was diagnosed back in 1999. I immediately thought, okay, I'm gonna die because my mother had died. My daughter was, had just left for college, probably a week before my diagnosis. Everybody in my family pretty much has died of cancer. My father died of uh, glioblastoma, brain cancer, the worst kind, and uh, everybody. So I figured, figure I'm a sitting duck and I've been waiting really my whole life to get that lump or that weird blood test or, <clears throat> or have to have a biopsy and uh, I've been very scared of it, actually. The study that we did here at Vassar University was to find out if a particular mushroom was an effective way to improve the immune system in cancer patients. And what we found, too, um, with the support of Gateway, was that radiation in breast cancer has its own effects on the immune system, and that turkey tail mushroom is the perfect, seems immunologically, mechanistically, the perfect antidote to the effects of chemotherapy and radiation on the immune system in cancer patients. And you want a good immune system, when you, right? You want a good immune system. There's no doubt now that, uh, that the immune system and cancer are related. Because during that time, um, you know, I'd been able to play with my grandchildren, take care of my grandchildren, continue to work, People who didn't know I had cancer didn't have a clue because my life was like it normally was. I've, I've really been lucky as, and, and I contribute that to the program I'm in because I haven't been sick. I've been able to do the things I wanted to do. Everyone deserves the quality of life that I'm enjoying. And I would say that, uh, that uh, Gateway could be a huge partner in American cancer research and bringing the best new ideas forward. 
and getting them to patients soon. People need to know that without their donations, these studies would not be possible. That without every dollar from every person, the research can't continue. All cancer research that's out there is imperative, that it could be any of us, it could be our sister, it could be our children, it could be our spouse. Everyone has been touched by cancer in some way. You never know when the, the cure is going to be there, we just have to uncover it.